Hello everyone, I am back from España, from Spain. Um, as I'm sure many of you know, I love Spain and I love any opportunity to go. And last weekend was the perfect opportunity because I was invited to a, the Ubeda Cine Film Festival. I didn't know where Ubeda was, I didn't know anything about it, but I'm so pleased to have gone because it is the most delightful place. It's beautiful, it's old, it's steeped in history. I mean, it was just absolutely fascinating. And also, I didn't have to do much. I just had to be me, which wasn't too difficult, especially with a bit of red wine in me. I was spoilt to death. I went with Sylvester McCoy, who was Doctor Who a few moons ago. I also had the pleasure of sharing some space with an American. Mm -hmm. Claudia Wells. You probably remember her from Back to the Future and she was a lot of fun. I teased her quite a bit and of course being lovely she just kept thinking I was complimenting her but I was really teasing her because she was truly American in every respect and just kept saying wow and awesome. So by the end of the weekend we were all going around saying wow and awesome all the time but she was really a lot of fun and I'm very glad she was there. And then of course we had Tolga. He was in a Harry Potter film and he was fun. And then there was a bunch of Spanish people, lots of Spanish celebrities, stars. Um, well, actually not lots, because part of the joy of this little film festival was that we were just a small section. We were the actors. It was about music and about art and about culture. They're very, very big on culture in this city and encourage it in every sense. So I was delighted to be a part of it. Hello everyone, I'm here in the most beautiful city of Ubeda in Spain uh, with my friend Alex who is looking after me and you remember Alex because we were so worried about him and his family but he's alright now and look at all these wonderful gifts I've been given. This from the Green Lantern. Look at this one. Lots and lots and lots of people here are illustrators and animators and I have been given all of these things. Now I have this. What am I going to do with this? I'm going to keep them for forever. Here, one of my favorites. What's about that one? All done by, I think, mainly local people, aren't they? Yes. And this one, this is a little bit cheeky, I think. We'll have a look, huh? You want to have a look at it? Wait a minute, let's see. Ooh, la, 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 la. Oh. oh my goodness me. Um, I'm going to keep this a secret because it's um, it's special. I think um, all the daddies will love it. Some of the mummies too, especially young boys. Anyway, I just wanted you to know I'm having a fantastic time. Look at this wonderful setting. Look what I found, huh? That you reckon? No, get away. <laughs> anyway, so now you are the star of my Facebook page. I want all of you fans to follow this man because he's crazy to be in this heat. It's 40 degrees, 100 and something, very hot. This cruise that I did advertising as Ursa for Coca Cola. Look at this. Yes, it is. This gentleman has just brought it to me. I'm in Spain. I mean, look at that. Now, can you see here? Down here? Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? This is there. one of them. But there are many. There this are is many. All in Spanish. There's one here. So I I think you probably know I was said to have merchandising rights. And I made that much money from sales uh, back in the 1980s. This proves Coca-Cola owes me some money, I think. Yes. Or they owe me some Coca-Cola, which I think. <laughs> they can pay you with yeah, Coca-Cola. That's okay. Thank you. <laughs> You're very well. I'll get you. Alberto brought this, and isn't it brilliant? Now, I have to just say to you, being somebody that likes to be in bed by about 10 o'clock at night, being Spain and being very, very hot, they don't really come out to play until quite late at night. So there was a wonderful evening with an orchestra, which again was extraordinary. It was put together with all age groups. I mean, I think the youngest were like 
twins of about 10 years old and then all the way up uh, this wonderful wonderful orchestra playing music from all our films that we'd all been in all the different franchises and I had to give a little speech and I practiced my Spanish brilliantly and was able to come up with buenas noches and um, muy bien and something else. I was hopeless. The little Spanish I knew went out the door. But being wonderful, lovely people, they embraced me and they didn't mind and they didn't laugh and they thought it was all very sweet and quaint. The American, of course, just thought it was awesome. Claudia, you're something else. Anyway, the point of it is we had a brilliant time. I want to thank the City Council all of the people involved because it was very much led by the city council they put on a wonderful wonderful time they fed us oh my lord we ate so much and of course again you don't eat till late um, you don't really come out till 10 o'clock at night and of course you have siestas oh the siestas there's nothing else to do it's too hot you can't go outside forget frying an egg on the pavement i think you could probably do a four course meal on the pavement it was so hot anyway i just wanted to say Thank you to all the people of Ubeda. Did I pronounce that right? Ubeda or Ubeda? Ubeda. I feel like I'm in Superman again. Houston? Planet? Anyway, I'm waffling on and I can see Eli twitching in the corner. So I'm going to finish now. But again, um, thank you to the people of Spain. Thank you to all the wonderful people in Ubeda. You really did make it a very, very special weekend. And I'd like to encourage any of you that might find yourselves in Spain don't just go to, to Barcelona and Madrid or Marbella or Cadiz. Go to Ubeda. You'll see my handprints. I did them in cement and then they're going to put bronze in. So I'm there for posterity. I think actually I had a look at the picture of my handprints and everybody remarked on the fact that one hand looks bigger than the other. But I think it's because I had people leaning on me and leaning on my hands to push them in. And of course, one went much deeper than the other. So they look a little bit odd, but I can assure you they're my handprints. So go to Ubeda. Thank you, Ubeda. Thank you, everybody. And so once again... Adios.